What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today, and in this video I'm going to be showcasing my full collection as of June 2022 that consists of over 200 1-400 scale diecast airplane models, 3D printed models, and even 1-200 scale. So I'm actually reshooting this video on my camera because when I initially filmed this on my phone, I ended up having an issue where the video was overexposed. Now, as I was editing it in Adobe Premiere, and even when I looked at a preview of it after it being exported, it looked fine. But once I looked at the preview through Media Encoder, I noticed that the video was coming out way too bright, so I ended up having to stop the export, and as such, I'm having to reshoot this video. That's also the reason why I ended up scrapping the Random Metal Airport update um, for this month, so as such, I will have to do another report for July. So yeah, let's take a look here at the shelf. So once again, um, same shelf layout and everything. Nothing has really changed here. Uh, we do have some areas that were not once occupied by models, but now they are because they are starting to overflow everywhere. Uh, the main purpose of this shelf was to make sure I had enough space for models, but as you can tell, that's already starting to not become the case. I've moved all the boxes out of here and they are now in my room. So they are in a more singular source. So yeah, let's go ahead and start off here towards the bottom. Again, I do apologize about the lighting here because this shelf has no lighting whatsoever, so I have to deal with the lighting here. I'm actually going to go grab my phone here, ironically, and use that as sort of a flashlight, so give me a second. So I'm having to hold my um, phone in one hand and my camera in the other, so if the camera works a little sloppy, I do apologize for that, but let's go and get started. First up, we have a United 737-900 uh, with a Continental Retro Livery by NG. Alaska 737-900, One World Livery by NG. Kalita Charter 727 by Gemini Jets. JetBlue A320, I Heart New York Livery, Gemini Jets. Alaska 737-800, Honoring Those Who Serve by NG. Got a couple more Alaskas up here. We've got a 737-900 on the left and an A320 on the right. Both of these are Gemini Jets releases. Swoop 737-800 by NG Models. A Northwest DC 950 by Aero Classics and an Alaska 730-700 with splits by NG. Moving on down to this bottom shelf here, we've got some American stuff. This used to be up on the top shelf, but um, as those models have started to overflow, I've started to move them down here. So on the left we have the Astrojet, and on the right we have the AirCal Heritage. Um, the left is NG, the right is Gemini. KLM 777-300ER Orange Pride Livery by Gemini Jets. Uh, Northwest 747-400, World Plane by Gemini Jets, their fifth model that they ever made. Kalita 747-400, mask livery with flaps down configuration, my first ever flaps down model. And a Delta E330-300 by NG Models. Got a pair of 787s that I acquired back in March. On the left we got a Royal Jordanian 787-8. And on the right we have a Turkish 787-9 flaps down. Got some more models here on the bottom, so let's go ahead and take a look at those. Got a U.S. Airways A319 um, Piedmont livery, American A319 Allegheny, um, American 730-700 One World livery by Gemini Jets, American 730-700 Reno Air Heritage, U.S. Airways A321 by Gemini Jets, Air Sanlon Hawker Siddeley Trident by Gemini Jets, a very interesting model, American 730-700 TWA Heritage by Gemini Jets, and a JetBlue A320 uh, Vets in Blue livery by Gemini. Moving up to the first shelf here, the first main shelf, we got the British Airways 747-400 Landor livery. This is not the retro jet release. Air France A340-300 by Gemini Jets. A Qantas A380 by Gemini Jets with some damage. You can see the left wing is partially starting to come off because my cat knocked into it and it fell off the table. American 747-100 Gemini Jets. Antonov 124, this is not the newest release that they did, um, I think like 2020 I think it was, this is like 2014. World Airways MD-11ER 2000 release, used to be my oldest model but now overtaken by the Northwest World plane that we just saw earlier. Um, the lighting here again, st still kind of being bad here so I'm going to have to figure this out. Delta 747-400, um, the registration on this one is, I believe, 668 Uniform Sierra, if you can see the registration there. Again, I'm operating the camera with one hand and having the phone in the other as a flashlight. FedEx 777 Freighter, this is an older release, this is on the older mold. Alitalia 777-300ER by Gemini Jets, and a Sun Country DC-10 there further back by Gemini Jets. Pop over here. 
Delta 767 300ER, uh, Ron Allen colors. MD-11 House Livery by JC Wings. Um, so far, my only JC Wings model. Delta A350 900 by Gemini Jets, first release. A Swiss A330 200, Gemini 2. British Airways 777 200ER by Gemini Jets. This is the 2015 release. Delta 777 200ER. This is a 2015 release also. FedEx MD-10-30. Um, it gets a dash 30 designation because of that extra set of main landing gear. This is a Gemini Jets release. Over here we have a Delta A330 200. This is Gemini Jets 2014. KLM 7879 Dreamliner by Gemini Jets. WestJet 767-300ER by Gemini. And further back, we have a Lufthansa Cargo 777 in the old livery. Ironically, Gemini Jets just announced the same registration, if you can see it down there. I think it's Alpha Lima Foxtrot Alpha. They just announced this, but it's in the new livery, and I think this aircraft is still wearing this old livery. And then further back, you can kind of see an Egypt Air 707 by Gemini Jets. One of the first models I got a long time ago, but I ended up losing the original copy. Let's head up to this second shelf now, as I'm in a bit of a more comfortable position. Let me work the flashlight here. Um, there's my phone there. Hello. Oh boy, this is kind of why I need to install some LED lights or something in this shelf, so I should probably invest in that here. Bit of a rare model here. We have a United 747-400 in the Saul Bass livery. Gemini Jets 2012 release. 2013, I think, is January. Uh, Lufthansa 747-8 Retro Livery. This is a very rare model as far as I know. Um, U.S. Air Force C-5 Super Galaxy by Gemini Jets, Travis Air Force Base. Air Force One Gemini Jets, most recent release. Delta 767 300ER 2018 release. It might be 17 actually. United 777 200ER Continental Globe 2019 release. Gemini Jets. Lufthansa A330 300 by Gemini 2019, obviously since it's a new livery. Pair of Phoenix House liveries right here. We have an A330 800 Neo and then an A300B further back. Aer Lingus A330 300 by Gemini Jets and an Eastern 767 300ER with a fingerprint livery by Gemini Jets. And then we'll pop back over here towards the front of the shelf. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Oops. Yeah, see, that's the problem with operating the camera with one hand. It's kind of hard to work the zoom thing. National A330 200 by NG. KLM A330 300 by Phoenix. British Airways 78710, if I can get the camera in here a little bit. There we go. So, yeah, that's a Gemini Jets 2020 release. Amerijet 767 300ER, Gemini Jets. A United 747SP by NG. A USS... A U.S. Air Force B-52 Gemini Max, a really cool model, I'd love to see this. A UPS 767 300ER 2017 release. They got some shapeways here. Two CRJ900 Customs, a Mesa, and a Delta Connection. And then there's various general aviation aircraft, which I'll try to get the flashlight in here so that you can kind of see this better. Um, yeah, this is not really working here. Let me position myself better. And here's a better look here at the fleet for the Shapeways aircraft. So if you want to take a look and um, see this for yourself, you can pause the video. Otherwise, we will move on. There's a Royal Air Force C-130 Super Hercules there for the back. U.S. Air Force C-17 McCord Air Force Base. We have a United States Air Force KC-135 from Mildenhall in uh, Britain. Tipped over there on the tail, we have a United 377 Strato Cruiser by Dragon Wings. Air Force Two, 2009 release by Gemini Jets. U.S. Navy C-40A by Gemini Jets, very old release. Blue Angels New Fat Albert C-130, Gemini Max. And a Janet 737-600 by Panda Models. A pair of TWA um, MD-90 aircraft-ish, um, even though that's more of the original DC-9 right there. That's a DC-930 by Aero Classics, and on the right we have an MD-95, also known as a 717 by Gemini Jets. I'll move the flashlight again here. A Delta DC-6 Gemini Jets, Pan Am 737-200 Gemini Jets. Alaska 727-100 Prospector Tail Gemini Jets. Up over here. Continental MD-80 and a Delta MD-88. Both of these are Gemini Jets. NG Models, American 757 Jet Flagship Livery. U.S. Airways 757-200 Gemini Jets. ATA 753 Gemini 2. 
American 757-200 by Gemini Jets. And there's an America West 752 as well, and a Northwest 752 thermometer livery. I got some models on some stands here, so I'll take a look at those since we're over here. We've got a Dragon Wings CC150 here. Very nice model uh, based off the Airbus A310. Got some models up here that we'll take a look at. We've got a TWA 717 Reno Air MD80 and a TWA MD80. Both of the MD80 and 717, uh, those are in the TWA American Hybrid livery. So I would like to get a full flavor American MD80 and obviously have a full flavor TWA 717 as well. So hopefully I'll be able to find one of those pretty soon at an event that I'll be going to. And I'll have more information on that towards the end of the video. Zooming further back, there's a British Airways Concorde and a Volaris A321neo. These models are just kind of not really in an organized place. Um, I just have them sitting back here. I wish I, I need to get another Gemini Jet stand for this because I already have another model that's on the stand. And the Volaris is a scratch and dent, and I can't really move that one around, so it's just kind of sitting back over here. And some extra models back over here. Um, I'll take a look at those here actually in a little bit. So there's some other stuff there. There's another model on a stand. Um, that's Dragon Wings B1 from Ellsworth Air Force Base in Rapid near Rapid City, South Dakota. You can kind of get the camera there or the flashlight to focus on that. So yeah, there you can kind of see that. Now we'll move up to the front. Got a nice trio of DC-8s to work with, a DHL, UPS, and an Eastern from left to right. But the DHL and UPS are Dash 70s, and the Eastern is a Dash 60, indicated by the different engines. The Dash 70s are essentially an upgraded Dash 60 with new engines. I think those they are like General Electric CF-56s or something like that. I don't know for sure. And then over here, once again, working the flashlight through. We've got some E319s here, a Northwest up top by Aero Classics, and an Alaska example by Gemini Jets. Delta 757-200 by NG Models, this is with the Delta Flood livery. Northwest A320, uh, final livery by Gemini Jets, and a bowling shoe example as well. This is a newer 2020 release. That's also Gemini. Everett's Air Cargo DC-6 by Gemini Jets. British Airways E319 Gemini, and a Delta 777 with the Ron Allen livery by Dragon Wings, a very nice model here. And then we got some A321 Neos here further back, a Virgin America Wow Air, Air Lingus further back, and then all the way towards the rear we have a Hawaiian, and then a Delta 777 by Dragon Wings as well. That one is with a Delta Flood livery. I got both of those in the same uh, collection sale the Waffle had a couple of years ago. So that was really fun to see. All right, we are now up at the top here. We have quite a lot to look at. This is my regional jet shelf. I forgot to mention how I have my shelves categorized. So I'll just quickly do that here. So the bottom shelf, pretty much all wide bodies. Um, same goes for the second shelf. Third shelf up is all my military stuff and retro stuff. And then this top, this second to top shelf is the uh, regional jet shelf, regional aircraft, some extra cargo stuff. All my GSC are stored here, which is not permanent. I just have it here for, for display for the sake of this video. So what I am going to do here to allow myself for better lighting scenarios, I'm going to set this, set my phone down and hopefully I'll be able to get some good lighting still so that we don't have to hold this for the time being. Okay, so we should be set on that. Zooming back over here, we've got a Breeze Embraer 195. American CRJ900. Again, all the models I'm going to show here, I'm going to, they're going to be all Gemini unless I say otherwise. Delta CRJ900, American Eagle Embraer 175, operated by Envoy, Alaska Embraer 175, honoring those who serve, United Express Embraer 175, Evo Blue, American Eagle Embraer 170, Retro Livery, United Express Embraer 170, this is a Herpa model, my only Herpa model so far, Delta Connection Embraer 170, United Express CRJ550, pop back over here, Delta Connection CRJ700 first release, Skywest liveried CRJ700, American Eagle CRJ700, Alaska Dash AQ400, uh, Horizon Air Retro livery, FedEx ATR72, American Eagle Ember 145, both the new and old livery. Um, up over here, there we go. Air Canada Express CRJ200 and a United Express CRJ200 uh, Continental Globe. And then we also have one with the Evo Blue livery and a Delta CRJ200. Uh, 2022 release. WestJet Saab 340, Eastern Lockheed L188 Electra with a bicentennial sticker down there. Yes, this is a Gemini Jets release. They did this fairly recently. Luxair Dash AQ400, 
Delta Connection ATR-72, operated by Atlantic Southeast. U.S. Air, um, Avro RJ-85 or BAE-146. And American Eagle CRJ-200. United Express CRJ-200, uh, Battleship Gray livery. And then I'll move back over here. United Express Dash A200 and a Clay Lace Aviation United DC-3. So that is everything up here, and then I'm going to move the flashlight over this away, just so we have a good orientation set on that. So again, this is a bit of a backlit situation here, so I do apologize for this, but this is the model that's on the stand, a North Central uh, DC-950. If I can get the camera to focus on just this model in particular, that'd be appreciated. There we go. So you can see it all in its glory. Of course, it loses focus. Further back, we have a Delta CRJ900 in 1 to 200 scale, my only 1 to 200 scale model so far. There's all my cargo um, GSE equipment, not cargo equipment, even though some of it is technically. Got some NASCAR die cast there further back, and then we have a pair, a group of torpedo bomber aircraft, 1 to 350 scale. FedEx 767, uh, FedEx A300 by Aero Classics, UPS 757. FedEx 757 further back, that's an NG release, and then we have a UPSA 300 well back there towards the end. That is Aero Classics. All right, up to the final shelf. All right, this thing I'm going to forgive the um, flashlight for, so I do apologize for the lighting again. I'll try to fix it in editing if possible. United 757-200, Herard here, New York, New Jersey. United 752, Evo Blue, both these are NG. United 739, Evo Blue by NG. United Max 8 Evo Blue by Gemini Jets. United 738 Continental Globe by NG. And a 738 Evo Blue by Gemini Jets. E319 by Gemini Jets. 737-700 by Panda Models with splits. A American 737-800 with the new logo on the winglets by NG. American 73 Max 8 by Gemini Jets. E321 um, CFM with fence tips by Gemini Jets. And then further back over there, you can kind of see an A320 IAE livery by Gemini, 2020 release. Then an A319 with CFMs and fence tips by Gemini. Over to the frontier, we have an A321 Steve the Eagle, A320 Neo Mia the Dolphin, and an A320 Griswold the Bear. And my Tucson Country models, I have one on order, and as far as I know, it is not on the way yet as I record this. We have a Sun Country 730-700 blue livery and a Time Pod livery, both of these are NG models. And back over to the second row now, we have our Delta stuff. This is going to be quite a long haul here, so it takes up a good chunk of this row. So starting up here, we have a 757-300, 757-200, both of these are Gemini Jets. E321 Thank You Livery by NG. E321 Gemini Jets, second release. This is a little bit out of place here, but that's to be expected because this shelf gets pretty crowded. 737-900ER by Gemini Jets. E320 by Blue Box. Aero Classics, 737-800 by Gemini Jets, 2014-15 release. Delta, 7, Delta E220 by Gemini Jets on the Herpa Mold. E319 by Blue Box Aero Classics there, sorry about the camera. 717-200, this is Gemini, the most recent 717 they've done of Delta. A Sky Team Delta 730-700 by NG. And now into the Spirit, we have an E321 by NG. E320 Neo by Gemini Jets, and an E319 by Aero Classics. That's in the old um, digital livery, as they call it, or the grayscale. And then Allegiant E320 and E319 with Sharklets. Both of these are Gemini Jets. Further back, we have a WestJet 737-700, Alaska 737-900 in the old livery, and then an Alaska Air Cargo 737-700 up front, or at least towards the end, rather. All right, time for some rapid fire Southwest. Here we go: Missouri, Maryland, Lone Star, California, Illinois, uh, Florida, Tennessee, Colorado, New Mexico, uh, Mustard Rocket, Canyon Blue, and then we have some hearts over here: um, Blended 700, Split 700, NG 800 Heart, and Canyon Blue 800 Freedom One, and a Max 8 back over there. So I'll go to the manufacturers again. So these two are NG. This is Panda, this is Gemini, this is Gemini, this is Gemini, all of these others are Gemini as well, all the way up until the um, Panda 700 here. That's a Panda, that's a Panda, this is an NG, NG, and NG, and then a Gemini Jets there further back. Yeah, I told you it was going to be rapid fire, so sorry about that if it was a bit too fast. Then we got some Jet Blues back over here, A321 Neo, 
uh, Balloon's Tail, A321 Prism Tail, and then all the way at the end we have an A320 Tartan Tail by Velocity Models. And that is everything for the collection. So yeah, 200 models-ish in 1 to 400 scale along with that 1 to 200 edition that I made back in March. This collection is growing. I love to see where this collection is going. It's great to see how quickly this collection has grown, especially with all the with the really great variety and releases we've been getting as of late that has really helped to add to my collection, mostly in part from Gemini Jets and even new interest in some retro stuff as well that's going to keep growing the fleet even further. And we will be surpassing those other milestones. we got 300, 400, 500. That will be coming, I'm sure, probably in like 5 to 10 years. But I don't know. We'll have to see. So, what's this event that's coming up? Well, I did want to make this announcement a while ago, but I wanted to wait until as until I knew for sure that this was going to happen because I didn't want any type of event that took place right before the convention that would end up hindering those plans or just kind of disrupting everything entirely. So I wanted to wait to make this announcement until I knew for sure that this was going to happen. But I have teased at it quite a bit, as you probably have seen in, in past videos. But yeah, today is the day I finally get to announce it. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to announce I'm going to be making a trip to Chicago, Illinois. Uh, I will be attending the Airliners International 2022 convention um, taking place between June 23rd and the 25th. Still working out the details as to when I will be there, but I will have more information on how the content's going to be sorted out on that once the trip is over and I know for sure what I have filmed and how I'm able to organize all that stuff. But here's kind of what we can expect. So first thing, I will plan on making like a vlog or so of the experience at the convention, so what it's like to get in there, wander around, and purchase stuff and get all that taken care of. There will be plane spotting videos, obviously, um, from Chicago O'Hare. A midway trip is not likely at this time, since I'll be well out of our way. Um, but I will be up at O'Hare quite a bit, so I'll be doing plenty of spotting there and all that fun stuff. And then obviously, going back to the convention itself, there will be an unboxing video. Potentially a massive unboxing. I just have to work out everything as to how much I'm going to be able to get from there. Should be quite a bit, so I would, I would kind of plan on a massive unboxing, but again, TBA on that. I'll have more information on that once the trip has concluded and I have everything with me as I head home. So yeah, keep an eye out for content from that trip. It will start as soon as I get back from the convention, and I will have um, other plans shortly after the convention as well. I will be going to see family and all that fun stuff uh, for the holidays, so I will not be able to work on videos um, throughout that time frame, but I'll try to get out as many as I can in hopes that I have everything ready to go by the time that happens. So that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.